Hello. Hello? Hello? Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Very good. What about Nidia? Can you hear me? And Fernando, can you hear me too? Yes, I can. Okay, very good. So let's begin. How was your day? Very tired. Tired, huh? Yes. What time do you start your day, Teresa? About five o'clock. Five o'clock. Is that the time yes. you wake up? Yes, that's the time I wake up. Okay. And what time do you finish your day? About 6.30. Okay. And you go to sleep like right after the conference or do you wait no. a little bit longer? A little bit longer, almost uh, okay. 10.30. All right, good. And Nidia, what time do you start your day? I can hear Nidia. Went to the office and arrived about eight ten. They say it it was there was a a kind of earthquake that I didn't feel. Oh, yes. Really? In the morning. Yes, yeah. they say I, I didn't feel it. You mean today? Yes, yes this morning. Eight, eight, ten. Really? Yes. Oh, I, I, I didn't know that. Uh, I, I didn't feel anything. Yes, <laughs> me neither. Me okay. Neither did I. And but, uh, I finished about, um, well, uh, I get out of the bank about um, six, 50, 50, uh -huh. but because I went to a class, a dancing class before. Oh, is that Zumba? No, oh, no, no, it was reggaeton and things like that. Oh, okay, good. So you move your body? Yes, I did. Good. Karen, how was your day? I'm sorry, hi, good night. Can you hear me, Karen? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, how was your day? Well, it was very good. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, a little bit busy, but good. Okay, fine, that, that's, that's nice. What about Robert? How was yeah. your day, Robert? Uh, it's not that, I mean, regular the normal average day yes okay good and evelyn what about you how was your day oh, my day was good what time do you wake up evelyn uh, uh, 6 a.m 6 a.m yeah okay that's not too early but it's it's a no. little early yeah Okay, and what about Mr. Vides? Did you have a good day? Hi, good evening, yes. I got a good day. Good, good. A bit, busy day, but good, yeah. How far is your work from your house? It, uh, by scooter, uh, about eight minutes. Okay, so you ride a motorcycle? Yeah, I have a blue one. Okay, good, very good. All right, so welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Um, let's uh, talk a, a, bit, a little bit about what we did yesterday. Can someone refresh our memories and mention what we did? Anybody? Yeah, we were talking about what we like, dislike, what we love to do, what we hate to do. Good. Good. We were we were giving some example, giving the sentences, and using the words uh, with the ing at the end. 
Right, right. Uh, at the end, you asked about the difference between still and yet, how we can use that. Right, right. Very good. Anybody else um, wants to say something about what we did yesterday? <laughs> Anybody? No, is everything clear about yesterday? Okay, fine. Uh, do you remember what we mentioned at the beginning uh, about the differences between denotation and connotation? Um. That is very important that you guys differentiate uh, how to use that. Can somebody tell me what the difference is? You say that denotation is the real meaning of, of a word or a sentence. Okay. And connotation is the how people use it. Good, very good. So remember that many times, like if you look for a word in a dictionary, the dictionary will give you the denotation of the word but how people use it in a particular way, that is the connotation. And that's why you guys have to be very familiar on how to use the vocabulary that we learn. So let me ask you, when you learned a new word, how do you put this new word into practice? In Anybody? my case, in my case, I try to to think in sentences. Okay, very or, good. Or I, I try to remember some songs. Okay. The, the, song, the, lyric of the, song. the lyrics of the songs, very good. Mm -hmm. Karen, what do you do with a new word? How do you put it into practice, Karen? Well, um, I try to, uh, to find the word in some, I don't know, some books or something, magazines, mm -hmm. sometimes, and I try to use it. Uh, I have a friend which um, we talk in English sometimes, so Very good. try to, to use it with her. Okay, good. Um, what about the others? Um, do you have the chance to use the language at work or maybe with a friend during the day? Or is this the only space that you have to practice the language? I have some co-workers that are, are English teachers, oh. so I have. Good. You, you say that you work for UNASA? No, UNICAES. Oh, UNICAES, okay. Yes. Okay, fine, good. All right, good. Uh, what about the others? How do you guys, uh, how do you apply the new vocabulary? Fernando? Well, since I left, practicing English uh, to be honest I I I don't have in, enough opportunity to practice it however when I speak with my friends from the call center yes we we speak like we used to in, in, back in my day oh good very good what about Nidia I I almost didn't have opportunity to talk, okay. but I had to read or write in email in English. Okay. And I am in a in a list of the Merriam Webster. Okay. And they send every day a new word. So I I learned the word, the pronunciation, and they give examples of how to use the word. Very good, very good. And, and that's a very good uh, link that you, uh, actually it's an email. I used to have that one and I don't remember what happened to it, but I used to receive a new word every day and, and that is very useful. Yes. Okay, Douglas, what about you, Douglas? Douglas, are you there? Douglas, Douglas. 
Douglas is at the chat. Okay, he's in the chat. He said that he has problems oh. with audio and micro microphone. Okay, so with the microphone. Yeah, microphone. All right. Uh, okay, so yesterday, you know, this is very important that when you guys learn a new word, you must be doing something with the new word. It's not only um, writing a word on the notebook, but you guys got to be able to use it somehow. Hello? Hello. Okay, very good. Uh, can someone tell me the five different things you need to know about a new word? Five. Five things that we have to know about a new word. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, let me give you the example of the first one. You see that? You, you see the chat? Pronunciation. Yeah, yeah. pronunciation. Okay, what pronunciation. else do you think is necessary about a new word? Yeah. Spelling. The meaning. Okay, very good. The spelling, the meaning. What else? Talk about spelling. Spelling you. How to apply the words in, in any situation. Okay, right. How to use it. How to use it. Okay, so I, I, I made a mistake with spelling. Okay, so we have the pronunciation, the meaning, the spelling. Uh, Louis, you were saying how to yeah, use how to it. Use, yeah. One more, what is the other one you need to know about a new word? The intonation. The intonation? Okay, so we can say that the intonation is included with pronunciation. pronunciation. Yes. One more. How to write, how to write the, the word? Okay, that is uh, spelling. Spelling. Spelling, spelling. Mm -hmm. Maybe if it is a verb or a pronoun. Very good, very good. Uh, you need to know uh, the part of speech. Mm. Okay, so you, you see the five aspects, like pronunciation, meaning, spelling, how to use it, and the power of speech. So those are the five things you guys need to know about a new word. Now, all five of them are really important, but three of them should be your priority. Which three do you think are the most important? Me, pronunciation. Okay, uh, pronunciation. Spelling. Spelling. Okay, let's let's put it like this. When you're having a conversation with someone, which of the five do you really use during the conversation? Pronunciation. 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 How to use it? How to use it? Meaning. And the meaning. Exactly. So the five aspects are important, but if we talk about priority, you should emphasize on pronunciation, the meaning, and how to use the word. Do you spell words in a conversation? Maybe not. Do you discuss if the word is a noun, an adverb, an adjective? Maybe not. However, you need to pronounce well so people can understand what you're saying. Yeah. You need to know the meaning of the word so you use it properly, and therefore you will be able to how to use it. Do we have any questions with those five things? Uh, about the part of speech? Yes, sir. What do you mean? What do you mean with okay. that? Okay, uh, can someone explain when we say part of speech? It is not. Anybody? Good night. Hello, how are you, Douglas? Hi, nice to meet you. Good, nice to meet you too. And part of speech, it is not like has the tenses and that thing. Okay, part of speech, uh, in a way, uh, anybody else wants to share what do we mean when we say part of speech? The, the part of 
speech uh, explain how we can use a word in a sentence. Uh, I remember the they are classified as a noun, pronouns, adjective, verbs, adverbs, preposition. I don't remember that. But it, okay, very good. Rest, yes, that's exactly what we mean. As <laughs> Fernando is saying, when we talk about part of speech. Or, or was it Douglas? When we talk about part of speech, we're talking about the part of grammar. Oh. Is it a verb, a noun, an adjective? Now, do you remember how many parts grammar have? No. I do remember that I, there, uh, they are eight, if I'm not wrong. That is correct. Uh, yes. According to um american or, or grammar from the united states there are eight parts of speech verbs nouns adjectives different things okay uh do we have any questions about those five things pronunciation spelling meaning how to use it or part of speech no no okay fine so let's see this right here. Uh, ha -ha. Files, basic. Let me see if I can. I don't find it. Let me see if I can find this. Can you see my screen? Yes. You can see it? No, uh, no, no. Okay, let's let's check this here. There is a black screen. Okay, what about now? Yeah, no. Yeah. Yes. All right, very good. So remember that some of the topics we discussed yesterday, we were talking about how have you changed? Uh, can somebody help me read uh, the four examples that we have here? Um, well, we don't have examples. Uh, but can you see the... the Our carpets. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's, yeah, just just the folder and for, and for file. Okay, so something is going on here. Zoom share. What what do you see now? You. Your camera. <laughs> you see me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let me check. What about now? Now we can see. Yes. Okay, can, can you see the screen now? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. All right, yeah. good. How have you changed? What do you see in those three pictures? Um, Vegetable. Vegetables. What else? Money. Money. Mm -hmm. And so what's I'm, on, on the right I'm side? Graduate. Okay, I'm very graduate. good. So, uh, Nidia, can you read the first example? Okay. I have gained more weight. Okay, I have gained more weight. What about the second one? I have changed my eating habits. habits. Okay, so you have changed your eating habits. That's why we have this picture here. Uh, what about the third one, Nidia? My partner and I have decided to invest. Okay, and we got this right here. And the last one is? My brother has finished his high school. Okay, very good. So which tense are we using when we make this question? What is the test we're using? 
past it's Paris. 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 Perfect. What is the name of the tense? It is not past perfect. Uh, near. You're near. Past, past present perfect. Okay. Past participle. Uh, okay. Past participle <laughs> is the form of the verb. But the name of the tense is present perfect. Mm. Mm. Okay. okay. Now remember, uh, when how, how many tenses do we have in English? Twelve. Very Just good. We have yesterday. good. Yeah. Very good. We have twelve tenses. Uh, present perfect is one of the tenses that people use a lot, and it's high frequency. You use present perfect every day, all the time. Uh, so, what is the auxiliary we use in the present perfect? Have. 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 I have. Or has. Oh, oh, and what is oh. the form of the verb? Past participle. Past. Past participle. Okay. Because sometimes there is a, 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 a time when people sometimes get they get confused. But remember, present perfect is the name of the tense. The form of the verb that you use is past participle. Right? So how have you changed? Okay, any questions about the first slide? No. 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 Right. Okay, now when we talk about uh, how have you changed, usually we answer things that are related with the things we, we did before and the things we don't do anymore. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let, let me see this here. I gain more weight. I have shame with you. Okay. okay, let me see this here. Hmm. I don't know how, what's wrong with this. I'm trying to get the screen out. In the bottom, in the bottom is a is the slides, is the slide presentation forms. Okay, but where is it? Um, is close to the, to the percentage of window. Okay. Uh, the last, that, that, that. That one. That one. Yeah. That one. yeah. See this? Huh. No, I don't get it. What do you want to do? I want to share the, the second slide. Only, only. Yeah, just it, it, make a click on it. Yeah. Two times. Okay, hold on. So we got this here. No, but it's a. Uh... Uh, something is must be doing something wrong. Okay, but um, yeah, I don't get it. I I I think that there is a problem with your office with the thing that I have installed. Okay, do you guys see anything now? The same, the same presentation. The same presentation, huh? I think it is something with your Microsoft activation. Because could, yeah, 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 that's why he cannot do nothing because the activation of the office package is invalid. Fail. It could be. It could be, but, but anyways, um, okay, there, do you see that one that says used to? No, it's the same. No. Yeah, you used to positive form. Right. I used to go to the park. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right yeah. All right. So finally, uh, used to, uh, do you remember how to use this one here? 
you mean when when you made an action in the past? And what about now? And you don't do that anymore for a okay for a reason. Okay, now okay, good. Now can someone read the three examples that we have here? Yes. Somebody, anybody? I Me. used to go to the park every day. Okay, you used to go to the park every day. That means that you don't go anymore, right? Mm. What about the second example? We used, used to. to... Uh huh. Go ahead. Me? We used to play marbles after school. Okay, did you play with marbles after school? No more. Not also, mama. Okay, but I remember, we use this one here to talk about actions that we did in the past, which you don't do any, well, we don't do anymore. So we used to play marbles after no. school, not anymore. What about the last one? Playing tap used to be my favorite game. Okay, did you used to play tap too? No. No? I used to play. Okay, so as you can see, used to go, that means that the person doesn't go anymore. Used to play, that means that the person doesn't play anymore. And playing top used to be my favorite. So that means that maybe now he's got different uh, choices or tastes. Are we okay with this one? Yeah. 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 Okay. Teacher, teacher yes. I have a question. Sure, I used to, when I... When I want to say yo acostumbraba is the same I used to. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Acostumbraba solía. Exactly. That's the okay, one. And and remember uh, when we apply this, we're talking about actions that we yeah. did in the past, but we don't do anymore, like the slide that we're showing you right now. Now let's go and check for it. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. So we got this here. Used to in the negative form. Uh, can someone help me read? I didn't, I didn't used to eat vegetables. Uh-huh. What else? I didn't used to listen to my teacher. Okay, very good. Now, when you were a kid, did you eat vegetables? Did you guys yes. eat vegetables when you were kids? No, no I didn't. No. Yes, I didn't. Okay. okay, so in my case, I didn't used to eat vegetables, but now I do because I know the value of vegetables now. But when I was yeah. a kid, yeah. I used to say like, "No, ma, no, thanks." And what about the other picture, the other sentence? That sometimes still happens. <laughs> right? <laughs> it, 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 even as an adult, sometimes she don't listen to your teacher, huh? So what is, what is different? What do you know? What, what do you notice between the negative form and the positive form? What happens with used to? That's positive, uh, we use, and now we, we have negative. The tense, the tense. Uh, the verb, uh, in negative form, auxiliary. the verb the bird used to, is in present, because we are using the auxiliary in past. Exactly, exactly, the very good. Used in present. Now, remember something, whether you're saying positive or negative, it is always connected to past tense. The difference is, if you say the positive form, you see that used to has a letter D. Yeah. If you use the negative form, like you guys were saying, you're going to use the auxiliary didn't, and used to, uh, the letter D disappears. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What if I want to make questions? How do you make a question using used to? 
Okay. Did you use to eat vegetables? Do you include the or do you leave it the same way you have it in the negative form? Did you use to eat vegetables? Uh-huh. So, did you used to play sports? Did she use to play hide and seek? She used to play sports. Okay. Did you guys used to play sports? Yeah. 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 What about now? Uh, Not anymore. One time, one time a month. Okay, once a month. Once a month. Okay. Once well, something month. is something. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's better <laughs> than nothing. Exactly. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. <laughs> what about hide and seek? Did you guys used to play hide and seek? Yes. Yeah. Okay. A long time ago. Long time ago, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. I used to play hide and seek like maybe like 40 years ago. Long time, long time ago, too. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I, I was born in 1971. So it, it's been a while. <laughs> All right. Uh, so here we have this. Um, we have. A, when, when you're talking about changes from the passing now, it's very common that people use used to. Um, do you remember the auxiliary, uh, the model would? Do you remember the would? Yeah. Okay, remember that would has double function. You can use would for hypothetical things and you can also use wood for actions that you did in the past, which you don't do anymore. Yeah. When I was a kid, I would play baseball. Just an example. I never played baseball. Uh, when I was a kid, I would visit my uh, uncle's house on Saturday. So I'm using wood to talk about things that I did in the past, but I don't do anymore. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to the chat and write one positive answer using used to. Something you did in the past, but you don't do anymore. Got it? Okay. Okay, yeah. so just write one sentence in, in the chat. Used to. Okay, I used to play soccer. I used to work in a call center. I used to fly kites. I used to eat a lot of sweet bread. Oh my goodness. I still do. <laughs> The doctor tells me, Francisco, don't eat sweet bread because I'm diabetic, but sometimes Ooh. I don't listen to him. Yeah. <laughs> sweet bread is so good. Uh, Teresa says, I used to read the newspaper every day. I used to play jacks when I was a child. Oh, my goodness. Jacks was cool. <laughs> and jacks was only, uh, it, it was for boys and girls, mainly for girls, but I used to play jacks too, you know. And, and nothing fun. happened to me. I, 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 I'm, you know, um, I used to play tennis. I used to go to church every Sunday. I used to play basketball. Uh, I used to be in shape. <laughs> That's Francisco. He used to be in shape. Uh, I used to play football. I used to play basketball. I used to play soccer. I used to study very much in high school. Okay, very good. Now let's go with the negative form. Write one in the negative way. Let's do this.
Okay, so I didn't used to go to church. Now you do. I didn't used to come late at school. Uh, now you do. I didn't used to have a lot of friends. Now you have a lot of friends. I didn't used to have, a, no, I didn't used to go to the parties. Now you do. Um, you didn't used to eat uh, onion, but onion is delicious. Yes, it is. Uh, Teresa, do you like onion now? Yes, a lot, especially oh. the red onion. Oh my God, yes. Yeah. I, I love onion in all presentation, white, yellow. It's very delicious. Red, oh. The red one. Sure. Uh, I didn't used to eat vegetables. I didn't used to study for exams. I didn't used to enjoy Mondays. Now you like Mondays? Douglas? <laughs> yes, I like. Okay. Is that your favorite day of the week, Monday? <laughs> um, it depends. <laughs> because okay. at, at, in the past at university was so so hard. That day was so hard. So for that reason... It is like, oh my God, I really hate it. <laughs> All right, good. I used, I didn't used to drink alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> now you do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I didn't used to go to church. Now you go to church. I didn't used to go to the movies. <laughs> now you go, now you do. And I didn't used to study for the exams in high school. I didn't used to play football. And I didn't used to visit the museum. Very good. All right. Um, very good. A any questions about the negative form? Okay. Um, do you guys remember the use of that? You see this? A T H E. What? What? Can you see what I write? No. No. No, you can't no. see it. Okay, let me see this. What was that? Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, can you see that, T-H-E? No. No. You, you can't see it, what? No. Okay, can A somebody T type it? T-H-E, right, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, what's the name of that word? It's an article, yes, it's an article. Now, what is the name of that article? The name of the article will explain the function of it. Does anybody remember the name of that article? No. no. I don't remember it. Okay, the name is uh, definite article. Definite. Yes, definite article. Now, what do you guys understand by the word definite? Something specific. Something specific. As as a noun, as a... You can, you can use it uh -huh. in, you can use it in whatever it, it, the genre or something like that. Okay. Now, how do you pronounce it? The. 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 Do you the. Depends. Okay. Who the. said depends? Yeah. Yeah. Who said depends? Me. <laughs> Who is you? <laughs> Evelyn. <laughs> I'm sorry, Evelyn. Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn, yeah. uh, your answer is interesting. Can you tell us why do you say it depends? It depends because um, it's uh, the kind of the, the, the next word or the word that, that is the V or the if is begin with vowel. I think it's different. Very good. Very good. Okay, so she gave you almost all the answer. Can someone complete yeah. Evelyn's answer? I think she's right. Okay. So just like Evelyn was saying, 
if the following sound starts with a consonant, you say the. Yeah. If the following sound starts with a vowel, then you say D. Yeah. So in a classroom, I will say, excuse me, where's the eraser? Where is the eraser? Where is the apple that I gave you earlier? Where is the apple that I gave you earlier? Now, if the following sound is a consonant, I will say, well, I bought the car. I brought the book. I sent uh, the report. So T-H-E, definite article. Um, it's, it's pronounced in two different forms. D, if the following sound is a vowel, and you will say the, if the following sound is a, a consonant. Now- Pronunciation, it is, it is just depend about that, or it depends of the, I don't know, for example, if that the or the is at the middle or at, or at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, good question. Um, no, it really doesn't matter the position of where you have it. It can be at the beginning, in the middle, at the end. So what determines if you pronounce the or the is the following sound. So if you have A, E, I, O, U after the article, you should say D. If you have a consonant sound after the article, then you will say the. Okay, thank you. All right. Now, in terms of function, is it okay if I said, um, I will go to the beach the next Saturday? Is that okay? I think it's not necessary to use the twice. Okay. What if you can, I... Uh -huh. You can say only... Next. Uh, that you can go to the beach next Saturday. Okay, good. What if I say I went to the, the last Friday? I went to the movies the last Friday. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay because you are talking about a specific Friday. Friday. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So here's an observation. I can say I went to the movies the last Friday of December because December has four Fridays. And then I need to be very specific. Oh. Now, if I'm referring to Friday from last week, then I don't need to use it because last Friday there was only one Friday. So you don't need to be specific, okay. oh. right? And that's why the name definite article gives you the answer of how you use it. So definite means like very specific, Okay. right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. So let's see uh, how many people do I have? I see 14 people, so let's yeah. put in four or three. Okay, here we go. Five, five, three. Okay, so I'm going to make groups. In the first group, I'm going to have Evelyn, Freddie, Karen, Luis, and Robert. In the second group, I'm going to have Eduardo Antonio, Jose, Nidia, Teresa, and Mr. Vides. Group three, I'm going to have Astrid, Doris, and Douglas. Astrid, are you there? Yes, I am. I am. Good. Doris, are you there? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to create the groups and I want you to discuss uh, the present perfect and used to, just talking and tell your friends what you understand from, from each topic. You guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so start talking. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. 
Okay, so who's gonna start? <laughs> Break the ice. Oh, Karen wants to start. Start talking, Karen. Um, what do you want to talk about? What I used to be? Yeah, used what to, I used to or, do. Okay, used to and present perfect. Just share with your friends what you understand from the present perfect and from the, and used to. Well, the present perfect, I'm not much familiar with grammar. Okay. But uh, I think the present perfect is uh, for things that you're uh, doing in the past, I think, but just stop nine. Okay, something that you begin in the past and you're still doing. Okay, okay. I still do it, okay. Good. Okay, Luis, what can you tell us? Uh, okay, um, to use the present perfect tense, we need to add the auxiliary have or, or has. Very good. And the verb is in past participle form. Okay. Nice, wow. good. Freddy, what about used to? What can you say about used to? Sorry, what is your question? Uh, what can you tell us about used to? Well, used to is, uh, we can use uh, when we are talking about any activity that you did in the past, but in the present you are not you don't do anymore. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. Robert, what about you, Robert? What do you think? About present perfect or? Uh, it doesn't matter. We just, just give your opinion and, and see uh, and share what you want to say. Well, about present perfect, that it's an activity or something that you have begun in, in the past and you're still doing it. But regarding to used to, it's uh, an activity as well that you usually have been done in the past, but you have quit doing it. You don't right. do that anymore. Okay, fine, good, great. Uh, who else is in the group? Um, okay, I'm going to leave you guys now. I have to go check with the other group. So meanwhile, you guys talk to each other, get to know each other. If this is your first time talking, uh, this is the right time. So I'll be seeing you guys in two or three minutes. Talk with your okay. friends. Okay. All right, see okay. you soon. Hello, guys. No more. Hello. Hi. Okay, so what's, how is the conversation going on here? We I were giving so. some examples. Yeah, good. We're sharing. Okay, good. Uh, and which topic were you discussing? Was it present perfect or used to? Both. Used to. Both of them. Both of them. Okay. Uh, is, is there anything you would like to ask about uh, any of them in particular? Uh, for example, we are using present perfect with used to, but we can use it uh, in another ways. Sure, sure. Uh, like the way we were using it today, it's like when you talk about changes in your life, you use present perfect. But usually when you talk about changes, you mention things that you did before, but you don't do anymore. Or vice versa, things that you didn't do before, but now no. you do. And you can perfectly use them independent from each other. So today we're going to be talking about present perfect. Boom. In the following day or the following week, you can be talking about used to. Completely uh, uh, different from each other. But usually yeah. when you talk about changes in your life, you make a combination of both. Okay. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Okay, let me go check with the other group. So I'm going to see you like in two minutes when everybody gets okay. back together. So right now, okay. keep talking to your friends. Okay. Okay. All right, good. Oh. But for example, in this class, 
is a little uh, about it, <laughs> about grammar. Yeah. And it's so interesting. And every class you can learn something new. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. But grammar, even in Spanish, is. All the verbs and when the teacher says, este es el verbo, este es el predicado, y tienen que dividirlo en no sé cuántas cosas, era como, it's too much. <laughs> okay, so can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, I think you. that everybody's going to go back as a, as a whole group, so I'm going to break the, the, the groups. Okay. All right. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, I'm here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, someone was asking if I can share the PowerPoint presentation. My pleasure. Um, uh, I will, I need your email address. Uh, do you guys have my phone number? Uh, no. Okay, uh, so if you have pen and paper, uh, you can write my phone number so you can send me a WhatsApp with your email address so I can send you the presentation. Okay. Okay. Uh, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, it's 79. Double eight six two six one. Seven nine double eight six two six one. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Now, since we're all connected, um, let's see. How many of you guys were together before in, in this uh, project, in this video conference thing? How many people were there in the group? Anybody? Sometimes three or two. Okay, so, okay. Who is new in the group? I am. I am. Me too. Okay, so let's do something. Uh, I'm going to start so you guys can briefly introduce yourself. Um, just in case you missed it, my name is Francisco. I'm almost 48 years old. I live in Lourdes. I have five kids. And this is what I do from Monday Oh, this is my occupation. I'm a, I'm a full-time teacher and I work for different institutions. So basically that's everything about me. So who wants to introduce yourself next? I will start. Okay, please, thank you. So good night. Uh, my name is Douglas Eliseo Perez and I, I'm 23 years old. Uh, this girl, it, it is a, uh, it is a type of gift that my my father gave me this girl because he he don't like too much English. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I learn so I learned before. So you place. so you took his place. Yes, that that's the the thing. So oh. he. Uh, he gave me these these courses, and yesterday I I cannot 
uh, get in because I got problems with my microphone and, and all that things. So right now I cannot put my camera because it is so dark right there. Okay, <laughs> live, don't worry. I live in Toyapango and I'm studying mechanical engineer at Don Bosco University. Very good. What part of Soyapango do you live in? In it is Colonia Las Margaritas. Oh, okay. Very good. Thank you, Douglas. <laughs> Next. Okay. We have like four. Yes, Karen, your turn. Well, I'm new. Okay. Uh, with this car and these cars, and I was telling to my team a few minutes ago. Yes. That this is my first um English cars. Really? <laughs> yeah. This and, is the first. And how do you know English? Uh, I watch TV. <laughs> okay. That's the true and because I like English and I don't know. I, I, I like it since I was very, very young. And Good. the only the only classes I, I received for for in, uh, of English was in at school, right? In high school. And yeah, since I was in kindergarten, okay. I have English, but uh, always was the same vocabulary, like okay. school, window, door, and the same thing until I, I don't know. Yeah, and the famous I, song like, good morning, teacher, good morning, teacher. Yeah, that's right. The same song every year. Every year. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, uh, that's why I'm not very much familiar with grammar. So okay. It, it is a kind of difficult to make. Okay, that. don't worry. And, and remember what we mentioned yesterday that communication has to be everybody's goal. So, like, uh, even if you're not too good with grammar, uh, that is something you shouldn't worry about because you know, communication has to be our goal. Thank you, Karen. Okay. Next one, anybody? Anybody, uh, anybody? Yes, me. Well, okay. Fernando. Fernando. Um, yes, my name is Fernando. I am 30, 30 years old. I live in Mexicano. I work with a company that has a base in Costa Rica. Okay. But uh, we have like uh, some clients over here. So I took them and also I'm finishing my university and studying computer science engineer. Good, very good. Thank you, Fernando. Next one. I am. Okay, go for it. Okay, uh, my name is Luis Mazariego. I'm 28 years old. Mm -hmm. I... Actually, I am a co-worker with Fernando, but I, I, I am in a different area. I am a software developer. Okay, good. And I'm a computer engineer. I already finished my career. Okay, and good. And that's it. All right, and where do you live, Luis? I live in Tonacatepeque. Oh, Tona, okay, good, very good, thanks a lot. Okay, okay, we have time just for one more person and we will continue with the rest tomorrow. So who wants to introduce yourself today before we go home, before we go to sleep, actually? Anybody? Maribel? Hi. Um, Maribel, I, I, I have uh, 48 years and I have two teenagers and um, I live in Ciudad Delgado and I'm an accountant and I'm so happy to be with you learning English. Very good. All right. Thank you, Maribel. So for the ones that didn't have the chance to introduce yourself today because of the time, we will do it tomorrow. Um, do you guys have any questions or comments before we go to sleep. I have a dog. Yes. Uh, teacher. 